I'm excited to welcome you back to my channel this lovely day. Okay, today we are asked to find the area of triangle A, B, C. So I'd like you to watch and see how we got that. Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you have seen us, we are happy to have you in our midst. Okay, first of all, let us first um, extrapolate CP to get another 5. Okay, so this is what I mean. If we should extrapolate this, or let me draw another diagram, okay? So if I should draw another diagram, this is what we have. Please, this is not drawn to scale. It's just a freehand sketch. So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is 5, okay? So I want to extrapolate this side to get another 5, okay? So if we call this place Q, all right, here P, okay, now let's join this to this. So our PQ is 5, that is what I meant. I want to replicate line CP, okay? So PQ is 5 as well. All right, now I want you to note that vertically opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles are equal. So that means that if we call this theta, then this place is theta as well. Now remember that from the diagram given to us, we are told that this is equal to this line. Now let us compare triangle APQ and triangle CPB. All right? So, if we do that, then you can see that AP is equal to PB. That means this side is equal to this side. Now, let me just, in triangle APQ and triangle CPB. All right? So, you can see that AP is equal to PB. Now you can see also that angle P is equal to angle P, like they share the same angle here. Or you can say angle APQ is equal to angle CPQ. Let me use that. APQ is equal to angle CPQ. Now, also, you can see that CP is equal to PQ. CP is equal to PQ. So this is just telling us that triangle APQ is congruent, congruent to triangle CPB. Now, if they are congruent, that means that their corresponding sides are equal, right? So it simply means that AQ is equal to CB, all right? So this implies that AQ is equal to CB, which is equal to 8. Yes, so I can say that here is 8. We're already given that here is 6. Okay. Now, I want us to see something. Let us consider triangle CAQ, okay? Let's consider triangle CAQ. CAQ. Here is 6, here is 8, and CQ is 5 plus 5, which is 10. Now, let us try. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem. We want to verify something. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we have that 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to 10 squared. Let's see if this is true, okay? Now 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. Is equal to 100. Now we are still verifying. 36 plus 64 is 100, and you can see that 100 is equal to 100. So if this is a line 
with the Pythagorean theorem of a right angle triangle. So it simply means that triangle ACB CABQ is a right angle. Okay, so it means that this is 90 degrees. Alright, okay, so now we have here to be 90 degrees. If this is the first time you are seeing us, please click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Yes, we upload our videos as often as possible. So tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch. By God's grace, give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video, which I am. You are actually enjoying it. Okay, I'm sure you are. All right. Now let us do something else. Okay. If we draw a circle to complete this triangle, this is six, this is eight. So let's draw a circle around the O. Oh, I'm trying to inscribe this triangle inside a circle. Okay, so pardon me, pardon my drawing. Now this is what we have. Okay, and we got here to be 90 degrees. Can you remember this circle theorem that says that the angle subtended by a diameter on the circumference of the circle is always 90 degrees or angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. So what this means is if this is a circle and we have this as the diameter of the circle, any angle it sustains at the circumference or on the circumference is 90 degrees. So that means that our A, this should be what? Triangle. Okay, from here to here is our, I have cleaned it. So this is A. That means we got it to be P or something. So here is C, okay? So that means that CP is a diameter. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, if CP is a diameter and CP is 10, is equal to 10. Remember that we have 5 here and we have 5 here. That is the meaning. It means that if we draw a line from A to touch our C, this uh, point is O. Let's call it point O. And that represents the same point here on our diagram, point O. Okay? So, if CP is a diameter, it simply means that CO is equal to OP which is equal to AO. So it simply means that CO is equal to OP, which is equal to AO, which is equal to 5. So it simply means that AO is 5 units. Okay? So let us write here 5 units. Now, why is this important? It is very important. We are going to see why. Remember that we are asked to find the area of this triangle. So if this is five, then definitely this is five as well, right? Because we are told that this is equal to this. So we also have five here. So it means that triangle ABC is in this form. This is what we have. So we have A, we have B, we have C. Now, A, B will be 5 plus 5, which is 10, right? A, C is 6. And C, B is 8. Now, we have already confirmed, using the other diagram, that 6 squared plus 8 squared is 10 squared. So, that shows that also C is 90 degrees. Now, the equation says we should find the area of triangle A, B, C. There are so many uh, methods we can use, but the fastest of them all should be using this formula. The area of triangle A, B, C is equal to half multiplied by base multiplied by height. Since we know that this is 90 degrees. Now, if we turn this triangle... Okay, so we are going to have this, this, this will be a C, this will be a A. Remember that this is 90 degrees. Okay, sorry. If 
we turn it like this, this will be a B, this will be a C, and this will be a A. Okay, so we join. Now, our C is 90 degrees, okay? Now, BC, BC is 8, so this is 8. CA is 6, this is 6. And AB is 10, this is 10, okay? So, using this formula, A and uh, area of triangle ABC will be equal to half multiplied by our base is 6 multiplied by our height is 8. So this is over 1, this is over 1, right? Now 2 we divide 6 to give us 3. 3 times 8 will give us 24 units squared, okay? So that will be the answer of the question. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to see you in my next video. Don't miss it out.